All this week here, we're airing a special series of reports leading up to Veterans Day, in fact, on recipients of the Medal of Honor. Tonight, an American hero who served in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. My colleague Tom Brokaw has the story of Colonel Bud Day, a legend even among fellow medal recipients. Good boy, Caesar. Good boy. For most of his 82 years, these windswept hills of northwestern Iowa have sustained Colonel Bud Day, stalking pheasants just as he did as a boy. His aim is true as ever. The most decorated living member of the U.S. military, Day wears that distinction with ease. Thanks so much. What others see as extraordinary valor, he sees as simply part of being a good American. There's a lot of that in this part of the world. What was it about you guys, bud, from the Midwest out here in the Great Plains that made you such survivors and such heroes? I think it was uh, tough times, the desperation of those days of the Depression. If you wanted a warrior, this was a place to find them. America found a warrior in Bud Day. On August 26, 1967, Day was flying a dangerous mission over North Vietnam when he was shot down. He escaped his captors. He eluded them for almost two weeks before his luck ran out. When you were out there in the DMZ, you grew up in this part of the world where your forebearers were tough people to come here and settle. That help you in some way? It did. I think the independence that I had as a young kid roaming these hills and the countryside and hunting. That resourcefulness was put to a hard test during five and a half long years of the worst the North Vietnamese prison system had to offer, including the infamous Hanoi Hilton. But not once did he ever give up or waver in his vow to return with honor. The worst day I think I ever had was they'd put me down on the ground and uh, start hitting me with a fan belt. And uh, I think when the th I'd started counting the 300 stroke, I said, no, no point in counting anymore. That I'm never going to make it out of this. They're going to kill me. And, uh, came pretty close, but uh, didn't. <laughs> Bud Day's remarkable life has taken him a long way from Siouxland, where Iowa, South Dakota, and Nebraska meet. It is the place to which he always returns, landing at the airport that now bears his name, a statue of himself, always on duty. Tom Brokaw with Bud Day.